Hi, Ann Morrison here. I'm the artistic director and co-founder of Sarah Solo Productions. We celebrate and help develop solo theater artists in their solo theater development. But I've also been very interested in the visual artist, partly because my mother was a visual artist, but she was a choreographer, she was a poet, she was a playwright, and I love the idea of weaving all that together. How does the art speak? What does it have to say? While sitting at um, the Ringling College of Art and Design modeling as a life model, I actually created a whole solo play called Word Paintings, Soliloquies Around an Easel. It was a great exercise in my brain, got it done on paper, and a chance to do it live in festivals and theaters around the country. This past fall, I was asked to be a life model for Hodge Swallow's figure painting class. I love that class. Had to come in costume, and I decided to come, maybe, possibly as a Russian peasant. So I like to have inner monologues always going in my head, the actress that I am, so that I would keep the character alive through the whole thing. Poetry, inner thoughts, and this is what came out. Bitterness, the bitter bitterness. Bitterness has certain faces. Bitterness's profile is such as to gift you only bitter dreams. It wraps you in silence and feeds you like a baby and punishes each and everything like a mother's tired steps resounding in a village scene. As the sun's bitterness melts the clouds in the sheepskins and turns them golden, it slightly sprays some blue on the car windows in the morning. Thus the circling stalks of morning glories disperse a lilac-colored light, as bitterness has a bitter tinge and hides the tastier answer on the table under the warm bread in the dream's filthy jug. Milk mixed with snow and is clear exactly at the bottom. <laughs>